Welcome to Vintage. It's a Wednesday night, which means Mythic Society weekly event. Um, as per usual, I have not been brewing during the weeks, so we are stealing a Matt Murray list. Uh, this is Matt Murray's Luris Baleful Strix Cabal Therapy Control Deck, I guess Control Deck. Yeah, it looks like a control deck to me. This is my first time seeing the whole list all out. Uh, the only thing I changed is I took out a peak and put a reanimate in. I just really like to be able to buy back my Luris. Uh, it just it's a nice catch-all buy back Luris. Sometimes you can therapy one of their large creatures and reanimate it. Uh, so there's some there's some play there. Um, what else we got? What else we got? We got, we got, we got Strixes that were recurring. We've got a thing in the ice that were recurring. Snapcasters are coming back with the cat. We've got the Urza's Bobble Cabal Therapy combo that was featured in my, the, the Bob, Bobcat deck. Bobcat. That's the one. Um, and then just a pile of the powerful blue spells, the full cantrip sweep, Buster Storm, Negation, Misdirection. Dredge, or not Dredge, Delve, and then uh, a bunch of one-ofs in the sideboard, as per usual from a Matt Murray deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to jump right into this. We've found a humans opponent. Uh, Slater's playing some, ble uh, some Esper, not Esper? Not Esper. Black, white, humans. Cool deck. Uh, round one. So, I will see you in round one. We are here, round one, Mythic Society Weekly Vintage Event. We're playing against Slater. Slater's on a really cool looking uh, Orzov Humans is what it's called. It's a black-white hate bears deck. Got Containment Priest, Tassiger, Opposition Agent, Thalia, Dark Confidant, three main deck Silence, four main deck Swords, three main deck Duress, and Cavern of Souls. Uh, this would have been a very bad matchup for any kind of fun combo deck if I, if, if I had played a fun combo deck. But we're not. We're playing control. We're playing cat control. Look at all that control. Well, actually, that's just mostly birds. Um, but, you know, birds are a form of control. So, we take those. Deafening silence, maybe. <sighs> oh, duress. That is an unfortunate. Rest in peace, ancestral recall. You lived a good life. All right, well, not a lot going on with this hand at the moment. Not a basic land, which is a little bit unfortunate for our opponent's four wastelands. Um, we got to play it out. So I will Soul Guide Lantern your... Don't think it matters. I guess the Duress. And I will play a Booble. And I don't let's see. Do I want to be able to draw a force of will? I think I do. So we're gonna crack it now. They have a cavern. Wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, found a basic, not bad. Let's see if we get wastelanded. We didn't, we got caverned. Okay. So cavern thalia, maybe. Haha, <laughs> cavern luminarch aspirant. Can I get any exclamation mark loomies in chat? <laughs> Uh, it's okay. We're we're our, we're 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 ready to battle the Luminarch Aspirin with our Baleful Strix. Just a classic vintage matchup. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Hey, wait, what is this gonna get me now? That no, I lost my ancestral. Go have a look at it. Figure it out. Horse, Buster, Dig, Gosh, Rainstorm. All right. Never mind. It's not going to get me anything, as it's going to get to rest. <laughs> it's okay, though, because I have a bird. Nice Luminarch Aspirant. I have Snap Ancestor. Oh, never mind. 
Rest in peace, bird. Well, the bird went to farm, and now... What do we want to do? Do we want to play another bird? Do we want to play Snap Ancestral? Probably want to play Snap Ancestral. But bird's pretty good, too. We could therapy on... Archon or something as well, but... Probably not great. Especially because, like... Yeah, I kind of think I would just rather snap Ancestral. The thing is, like, what am I drawing with my Ancestral, right? Forces, not very good against Cavern of Souls. More birds. I guess more birds are pretty good. <laughs> I could get down with more birds. All right, two cards left in Slater's hand. See what they have. One card left in Slater's hand. What is this? Five mana? I'm so confused. Oh, it's a Tassiger. <laughs> okay. And they can start activating it and getting back swords, unless I soul guide the swords away. Interesting. Uh, can't be countered. But let's just snap Ancestral while we still can and figure out if there's anything that changes. Snap. Ancestral. Misdirection. Reanimate. Interesting. Uh, so what is this mills and then returns? So I don't know if I want to crack this lantern now to make sure the swords goes away. I guess we can still wait on that. But this is going to be really hard. My my Baleful Strix should be pretty hard for my opponent to beat. Okay. I like getting my Luris now. And now they can't even attack. They get bigger creatures every turn, but I have a Luris, so. I do have a Misdirection if they want to, like, maybe cast Swords of Plowshares, and I can probably deal with one of their creatures, which would be interesting. wonder if that's the line. Might be. Gosh. Do I have a, um... Do I have a Mystic Sanctuary in this deck? I do. I guess I should, maybe, maybe I should not have Ancestral. Kind of interesting point. I could just get this Luris and Bobble. I don't know, I'm just gonna like bury my opponent in card advantage. I'm just actually looking at what's in my deck. I guess I'm underground C. Um, don't really know what to do from here. Kind of just need to draw draw cards. Do I really want to gush though. Not really. I guess I can just gush on their end step for full mana. <laughs> you can look at what's in their hand.
We have a wasteland. This deck doesn't do anything. I just, I realized I was playing a Matt Murray deck, but my God, does our deck not do anything? <laughs> so I guess we can eventually thing in the ice. That would work. <laughs> this might be a long stream. <laughs> it might be a very long stream. Uh, I'll just hard cast this gush, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> For fun, you know? Why not? It really is bore your opponents to death, the deck. Another wasteland. Don't need that. Ooh, these are good. Um, anything else we want to do? We can bring back our gush. All right, 18 turn clock. <laughs> 18 turn clock, let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Sure. Don't care. <laughs> They're gonna have some large creatures. This is good. This is true. So they could actually wasteland me off of sanctuary here. So I guess I'm I'm not going to sanctuary. Let me let me draw cards. <laughs> let me draw cards. I'm gonna draw so many cards. Maybe I'll draw out. I didn't think about that. I don't feel like I need to do anything. It doesn't do much, and that's kind of just the way Matt likes it, right? Oh, there it is. The thing in the ice. You love to see it. <sighs> sure, why not? <laughs> Good gosh. Yeah, yeah. What are you watching? A great question. Let me just go get another land. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with all of these things. And then I'm going to flip this thing in the ice. Maybe I should wait until their turn. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> Thing in the Ice does not have haste, right? I don't know. If I find an instant, I can do it on their turn. Cool. Found an instant. Ha 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 ha! 
I I do I do feel like uh, maybe yeah no I should have bounced and then therapied all the aspirants away yeah no yeah I was gonna do that yeah yeah that's that was the plan that was definitely the plan that I totally thought of yeah <laughs> I feel like Matt Murray just make my opponents concede instead of actually winning games. All right, so they have just rest in pieces to bring in, probably. Maybe Leyline of the Void, depending on how much they want to attack my graveyard. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring in an Engineered Explosives and a, a Myers Grasp and a Feed the Swarm and a Dead Weight. All powerful vintage cards. And then I'm going to take out Negation, Fluster, and Therapy 1 on Therapy. I'm going to keep Force, and I'm going to keep Misdirection just for Swords. I think it's kind of important. Perfect. Submit. Yeah, I do think that it looks, it does seem like the win condition of this deck is to make my opponent not want to play Magic anymore, which you, you do expect from Matt, so. Okay, so this hand is interesting. Quite good if they don't draw for a uh, cavern. But not great after that. Let me try it. I wonder if I should counter this Ruby. Eh. Cavern on Archon? Ugh. You hate to see it. Oh, just Cavern on Human. Never mind, we're safe. Well, these forces are bad now. Oh gosh, is this gonna be a free booty? Oh, just like just a bob. Fair. Fair. There you go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Leyline of the Void, take four. <laughs> uh, just how they drew it up. Oh, no land drop. Beautiful. Misdirection, Preordain, Treasure Cruise. I'm going to shuffle. <laughs> I need lands. Perfect. Leyline of the Void again? Leyline of the Void again! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just still, I'm still calling them off the top. I'm just still calling them straight off the top. Ooh, Cavern of Souls. That's unfortunate. Had to be a cavern. Couldn't have been, you know, a plains, a basic plains. Free booty. Okay. You got me. I assume we're losing our merchant scroll. <laughs> uh, the second cavern is sad days. Thing in the ice. Ooh. Ooh. Another, another ley line of the void? No, it was up Marsh Flats this time. <laughs> uh, no, level two, not worth. It's a new strategy. You just stay level one. I could have forced this to get a trigger uh to get a trigger, but not very good. Alright, well, this is looking not fantastic, but we have three more preordain four more preordains in our deck, so. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't stopped I haven't I haven't stopped calling them off the top. It's been beautiful. 
All right, so I'm gonna go top and top like this. <sighs> Luminarch Aspirant, that's a good one. And Swords to Plowshares. All right, I can counter Swords if they had a land drop for it. Matt, you would have. Did you did you see game one, Matt? We successfully made our opponent quit. That's how we won. <laughs> it, they just they just didn't want to play magic with me anymore. Well, we could have a wasteland in our hand. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Slater's making choices, okay? We've played out three basic islands. Oh, they're playing a white human. Uh, Post-combat, Luminarch Aspirant. Okay. You got it. I'm just going to play a burb. The burb is is the is the, what's going to happen here. That's that's all we got. Burbs, bobbles. Um, yeah, bobbles fine. You have six cards in your hand. I guess I can take a peek. Oh, also has a duress. All right, noted. Doesn't have a Marsh Flats, doesn't have an Aspirant. Has two Ley Lines, a Swords, a Duress, two Unknowns, and one for turn. We've got a Bobble. Uh, top of the library says zero off of Marsh Flats and one off of Duress. Okay. Marsh Flats. Now they can play Swords to Plowshares after they Duress. They can only Duress one of our, our Force of Wills right now. <laughs> Maybe they'll take the Cabal Therapy. I don't know. I don't think this is bad. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to force still. Though, they are about to grow pretty big. All on to Thalia, that makes sense. Just one attack with Thalia? Okay. I'll just take it. Maybe I was supposed to force so that I could go double therapy. I kind of just realized that. Whoops. I guess I could still do that. I could force my own therapy. So, or I could force my own bobble. So I could go therapy target them. Take their swords to plowshares. Therapy, target them. Oh, no, I can't do it off the bobble. I have to do it off the therapy, right? So this costs two, and then second therapy costs one, and then force costs one. So I have to force the second therapy. Okay. So, oh, no, I could do it off bobble because I have a, a polluted delta. All right, so therapy, target them. Play bobble. So wait, we just have lethal? Cool.
Bam. I got a Kraken. That was very good. <laughs> what? What just happened? Okay, all right, sure, why not? I'll take it. All right, chat, we're back for round two of this Mythic Society weekly event. We're against Sherwinator. Sherwinator is playing their tried and true Deathrite Shaman Archon deck. Got some Lumis in today. Six Mana Dorks, three Okos, a bunch of Lavinias, uh, three Archons, some Abrupt Decays, annoying for sure. A Swords... Yeah, pretty stock, or not stock, but pretty similar to the decks that they have played in the past. So, I have a cat. Let's begin. I also have a bird and a bunch of preordains, so I'm in. My opponent is on three wasteland, so I will be fetching basic island number one of three. And start to cast some cantrips. Take another fetch land. Beautiful. Will I take two fetch lands? That's an interesting question. I think so. I don't see why not. My plan is to misstep their Noble Hierarch or Deathrite Shaman on turn one, get a Burb in play, and then build from there. I might fetch an Underground Sea to work towards a Mystic Sanctuary. But I would be tempted to fetch the Basic Swamp. We'll have to see what happens. Uh-oh. We're skipping the one drop, it looks like. Oh, Lotus Hand. Well, our hand is certainly not ready to deal with a brutal Lotus Hand. Will we misstep this Brainstorm? Sure, I will. I'm a pretty big fan of misstepping brainstorms that are very likely to have a fetch behind them. My opponent doesn't have that many. Like, they have Deathrite Shamans, which are annoying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, well. That's unfortunate. My opponent has quite a strong one. While we were casting Preordains, they were in the Lotus shop, brewing... Some storms. I, I don't know. I had. I, I don't know where I was going with that one. It sounded all cool, but well, I might j consider just casting double preordain here off of Basic Island, and the reason for that is. It's going to be hard to cast these preordains once we get Archoned, so... I want to get them out of my hand now. A Booble. What do we think about a Booble? Sure. I will take one. Let's take a look at what is in their hand. What do we got? An Abrupt Decay. Okay, all right, okay. I understand. Yeah, so we're far behind, uh, which is what happens when your opponent resolves Ancestral Recall. I still think my keep was pretty good. The Typically, a mental misstep is quite good against my opponent's deck. Yep. Okay. So they have an Abrupt Decay, and they have two other Unknowns. We are going to work on our mana by Time Walking. Uh, Sanctuary is turned off by Archon of Emeria, so... Not a, not a, not a strong card anymore. <laughs> not a great one. 
reanimate. Ooh. I am going to just fetch my basic swamp so that I can cast my spells. Because Archon is cheating. This card is very, very good. For anyone who doesn't under who hasn't who hasn't heard me talk about how good this card is yet, it just stops everything fun that you could possibly want to do in Magic the Gathering. Yeah, it's a tough one, but it's okay. This game is not over. If they want to abrupt decay my Baleful Strix, we've got rebuy. Sure. I kind of hope they wasteland my sanctuary so I can get underground seas going at some point. I do have a hard time casting Luris with the current mana situation. Choosing no attacks. And they don't have a drain, so we're not really losing ground. We're kind of clawing back in this. This might get wastelanded, but... I don't really see the choices. So I'm going to get this Luris into my hand. Hold open Flusterstorm off my basic. And if they want to wasteland my strand, so be it. If they don't wasteland my strand, I always have the option of getting my last basic island. But that doesn't help me cast Luris. There's some problems with that. It's nice that we do currently have a counter for an Oko with Force of Negation. If my opponent wants to Abrupt Decay this Baleful Strix, that is fine with me, as we have the ability to reanimate our Baleful Strix for value. So, even though our opponent resolved an Ancestral, this game is not terrible. Wait, so they just ate a... Oh... Okay, well, now we do not have an answer for Oko unless we hold open all our mana, which we can do. My opponent is starting to run low on uh, lands to eat with Deathrite Shaman, but there's a lot of wasteland targets if they need to find some more food. A bobble. Gets countered by Lavinia. Unfortunate. <laughs> uh, Underground Sea comes in tapped, so no Luris. So we're going to throw it back. Pass the turn. We're not getting anywhere fast, but neither is our opponent. So... Opponents probably heavily incentivized not to abrupt decay the Baleful Strix as they know we have a Luris in our hand, but it looks like they're going to do it anyways. Interesting. Well, that cannot be countered, so we're down a Strix, and then we're going to take a decent chunk of damage. Hopefully we'll have enough to bring back the Strix. All right, so we don't know any cards in their hand. We know they have three unknowns. One spell a turn, no free spells. What a weird game. We're taking five and going to ten. So... If I crack this strand for an underground sea, they're just going to wasteland it, and that gives them a bunch of Deathrite Shaman mana. I don't really feel like that's worth it. So I'm just going to draw another Baleful Strix. That seems a little bit better than reanimating my Baleful Strix. I'm going to make sure I use the Sanctuary so that I can still hold open Basic Island Negation. Ooh, another Baleful Strix. I love bird tribal. <laughs> These Baleful Strixes are great. No! The reanimate! Sad day.
my cat is is not going to be fed. Very, very rude. Very, very rude. That is annoying. I did forget about that. Not much I can do, though. Unless they were to tap out. So this should be instant speed, right? Why is this sorcery speed so lame? <laughs> How to piss off legacy players. This card's not very strong. Why isn't it, why isn't it an instant? All right, we're we're just gonna continue casting birds. I like it. Now I gotta tap correctly. Misdirection. Not the greatest with this Lavinia in play. I don't have that much removal in my main deck either. Uh, we have a lot of the removal in the sideboard, so this game may go for. Many more turns, which, again, is to be expected from any Matt Murray creation. Oh, boy. We're not going anywhere fast. This card is just so lame. This card is just, like. No one has fun. Imagine only playing one spell a turn. How lame is that? Ooh. Okay, we got a spell. Spell's coming. Is a sword? No, we already got the swords, right? No, they still have a swords. I wish we could misdirection the swords. Collector Oof turning off their pearl. Okay. Hope they attack because they don't have green mana right now. I guess they kind of have green mana right now. They just wasteland me. Things are getting weird. Nice. More tapped lands. All right, let's get a, a preordain. A force of will. Well, that's no good. Like a taxi and probe. Also not great. This Lav oh, also not great. This Lavinia is hampering my style. I don't like it. I guess also the collector roof would be doing that as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really just boring. That's the real problem. <laughs> it's just lame. It's I don't think it's too good or anything. It's just like why 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 are we doing this? All right. So now at the end of turn, I could take two damage and uh, get two underground seas. Um, uh, let's think about this. I think I'm just going to fluster this. It seems like a pretty reasonable point in time to tell you no. They could wasteland me and eat both lands to pay for this. However, I don't think they're going to do that. So, we'll be all right. Oh, they're coming in. Okay. All right, hold up. So if I block with both Strix here, what does that unlock for me? Not much, right? Because if I were to reanimate something, I guess they could, they would have to use their wasteland on Sanctuary to stop reanimate. And then I'm free to get a bunch of underground seas. Or at the very least, we should kill off Lavinia. So that we could misdirection something. I think I'm going to at least kill Lavinia. Just so I can free up my free mana. But I don't want to let them attack with Archon. 
I may still reanimate here because it, it does seem fairly good for me. Cabal therapy. I guess my reanimate could get countered. I didn't really think about that. Should I, should I look for some forces off this therapy? It's not unreasonable. Yeah, I, I'm aware they can get green mana, but that would mean they're killing my sanctuary, which I think is a win for us. Okay, so they had an Oko and a Time Walk and an Abrupt Decay. And we did get the Force of Will. Well, they can't use the Death Rite Shamans to burn us out because they don't currently have black mana. They don't have that much black mana in their deck. They have a Bayou. They have exactly one Bayou. And oh, they have an Underground Sea as well. I want them to abrupt decay this bird, and then if we just misdirection it under the under the archon, that would be fun. That would be that would be big funs, big funs, big funs. Do 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 do. Yeah, I mean, we we have a life total issue at the moment. It's true. It is definitely true. This is a hard game. Ooh. Big host from the Legacy Council, Archon. Thank you for the 59 viewers. Oh, they're going for the Sanctuary, finally. We're playing some Vintage tonight. We're playing a, a spicy Matt Murray brew with basically Luris Control. It's a very weird time for them to wasteland us. A very weird time for them to wasteland us. So I assume they're going to get in with the Collector Oof here. I don't know what they want to do. I, I do think feel like we have to block this thing at some point, right? But it might not be right now. <laughs> I played a lot of PO this weekend and I wanted a break. So this is we're doing some weird things tonight. Uh, so I go to 6. The problem is if we if we if we block, then they can use this pearl, and they only have to eat one land to play the Oko, and then I have to give them another land. Well, I don't have to give them another land, but I probably would give them another land. So if I fetch this turn, so if they drain me this turn, I go to four. If uh, I crack one fetch, gets me a Luris down to three. And then... I think this is, has to be a block, but it's kind of unfortunate. Thankfully, I mean, we do have ways to play around the cards that are, are in their hand. But if we don't draw a blue spell, we can't protect our Luris from Decay. Which is another problem. We have to we we probably have to draw a blue spell. So my plan is negate whatever they play this turn. Fetch for an underground sea, as well as a basic island to go negate underground sea, untap, Luris. And if I've drawn a blue spell on their turn, I can Mr. Oh, they're just gonna. They're just going to hold open Abrupt Decay. Okay, so I think I want to go to six. Ah, uh, but if they hold open Decay, then I can't misdirect because they held open Decay. So I can't even play this Luris. And then they're going to start clocking me. So... 
What is the solution? There is no solution? Draw Fatal Push is the solution? Gosh. Gosh is not great, but I don't think we have a choice, so... There's no Lavinia, so it, it doesn't get countered anymore. Not great draws either. How many lands are in the yard? Still only two lands in the yard. So we go to six, we go to four. Yeah, it just doesn't seem feasible for us to win this game. I think we could have won this if... I'm not sure. Something went wrong. I do think that if I had played this better, it's possible we could have won it. They were stuck on lands forever, which was a little awkward. This card is so broken. I just want to play magic. Why won't you let me play magic? Yeah, so what I really wanted to do was fetch Underground Sea on the end of the last turn and jam Alluris, but they held open Decay, which was smart, because then I can't counter the Decay with the Misdirection. This is game one. We get to board in all our removal. <laughs> what game is this? Come on now. <laughs> mm, attacking with the death right shaman? That's really odd. I guess it doesn't matter. No matter what I do, nothing matters. <laughs> I... Yikes. Yeah, I think I'm dead on board now. Yeah, all right. That was an awkward game. It's so, okay, we have Engineered Explosives, Myers Grass, Feed the Swarm, Dead Weight, all staple vintage magic card. I already made this joke. You can't make the same joke twice, Justin. It's just been so long since I made the joke, I just forgot. Um, I don't really like Flusterstorm in this matchup. I don't really like Flusterstorm in this matchup. Don't hate Negation, mostly because of Oko. Oko seems like a bad time. Soul Guide Lantern, unnecessary. Um, Thing in the Ice looks good. Because it costs two life. <laughs> and now, then I will be dead to death, right, shamans? <laughs> Not the strongest line. Don't think we need a probe. This pro probe's probably good on the play, though. I wonder if this reanimate's actually good here. They are playing a bunch of Abrupt Decays, but they're bringing in a bunch of um, multiple swords to plowshares. I think I want these therapies. All right, let's try this. Seems interesting. Thanks, bad luck. Appreciate that. I thought that VOD was pretty good. I watched a, I, I rewatched a bunch of my matches from that tournament as well. It was a, just a crazy, crazy tournament. Okay. Game two after 20 minutes. I have a cat. Not the strongest hand. Not 
I mean, we did fight against our opponent's Black Lotus Ancestral Draw pretty well. We have not had hands like that. I'm going to mulligan that, see if we can do better. We did do better, which I like. Uh, snap, Brainstorm. I really dislike Brainstorm with this hand. But I, I Snap is kind of redundant, so go with Snap. I'm going to go Basic Island, probe them with a bobble, can draw a force or a, mi a misstep off my bobble, and then Ancestral on their upkeep. Indeed. Uh, first and second had the exact same prizing, so. PTQ champ. Oh. You heard it. Not a scam. Absolutely no scam. There was not a scam. Oh. Oh. Oh, you hate to see it. If it was a normal PTQ, I would not be a champ, but it was a super PTQ. Champ confirmed. This is just the truth. The truth can hurt. What? They didn't play death, right? Why? 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 Oh. That's why. It's not looking good for the home team. Uh, <laughs> I too wanted to resolve an Ancestral Recall, but it was not allowed. Death, uh, dazes? Anyone dazes? Any, any dazes? No dazes. All right. Well... I can theoretically now do brainstorm things if I want. I don't think I want. I think I would rather find something that does something. Or, or we could, uh, we could get another bobble. Maybe that was a greedy preordain. Ooh. We, it's, this looks so bad. Why does this feel so bad? Okay. The question will end up being I just want to play magic. Uh, they have flusterstorm back up? That would be bad. I think they have flusterstorm back up. Well, we might be able to get this treasure cruise. Does not kill an Archon. <laughs> oh, this turns off my Snapcaster Mage. This turns off everything. This just turns off my entire deck. I hate this card. Am I allowed to deadweight the the Deathrite Shaman if I'm going to get Lavinia next? Is that correct? Is that even good? I don't even know if I can. We might just be dead. <laughs> I actually don't think I'm allowed to deadweight the Deathrite Shaman. I think what I'm supposed to do is play my fetch land, play my jet, get my Luris. But I can't even treasure cruise this turn because this is going to come into play tapped. This card, it's just unbeatable. I do think our draws have been kind of medium. 
Though our ancestral did get countered. We have exactly seven mana to cast Treasure Cruise, so I'm not exactly sure how you are. <laughs> the Delta is not plus anything. Archon of Amiria says you're not allowed to play magic. My Delta <laughs> comes into play tapped. Uh, all right, let's fetch away that Snapcaster Mage. Island. Sanctuary back my Ancestral. Okay. Okay. Um, so if I Sanctuary back my Ancestral, and that... I guess I could Treasure Cruise now, because they didn't play Lavinia. Sanctuary doesn't... This is the worst! I literally said that earlier in the stream. Uh... uh I do, you just can't play magic with this with this card in play. What can I even do? Can you just get the Luris into play? And uh, is that better than Deadweight? It's so unfun. I <laughs> can't do shit. Well, they can't play an Abrupt Decay. They can only play a Swords if I just kill this now. I'm taking 4 to 11. It's actually it's just ridiculous. It does way too many things. Well, now I can get wastelanded and I can't play my Luris. So it's tough. Wait, they're just gonna uh, they're gonna cast Lavinia, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. It's not good enough though because i lost my wasteland because my underground sea got wastelanded i should have fetched the basic swamp i guess i should have fetched the basic swamp <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say It's it's just too good. White they they just keep printing white cards that are too good. <laughs> my opponent ha can't play half the well, now they have an emerald. I was going to say my opponent can't play half their deck cuz their mana base is ridiculous, but it doesn't matter. Like just you just play an archon or oh. You just play an archon early enough, nothing matters. Brutal. Yeah, that's Archon for you. Okay, chat. Now we're into round three of the Mythic Society Weekly. We have another Archon deck. So this is three Archon decks in a row. Um, this one is a pretty stock bant uh, Archon pile. Boyfies, Lavinia, Swords. Your classic fair. Yeah, uh, Mythic Society does have a lot of Archons in it. That is no mana. Try again. No mana. Try again. Birds, I keep. Um... So, let's see. If I get turn one Archon, I can't really play around getting turn. Well, I can play Scalding Tarn, in which case I wouldn't play Preordain, which seems a little sus. But I guess I theoretically could go Preordain and Underground Sea to the bottom, uh, crack for an Underground Sea at the end of turn, 
uh, island bird. I don't really know if that's like better or worse than. It plays around Wasteland, which is nice. And it plays around turn one Archon. I, my opponent's deck has a really hard time casting turn one Archon, though. It's just Black Lotus and three Moxon. So I shouldn't really play around that. So I think I do want to play this Preordain, which leads me to not want this Bobble and not want this Underground Sea. Done. I do think these birds are very good in the matchup, so hopefully that will be our saving grace. But opponent kept seven on the draw, which makes things fairly difficult. Do I want to force with this little cards in hand? That's my worry. It stops something crazy from happening, but I don't really think that's the kind of game plan we want to play in this matchup. And although a brainstorm is nice, I don't really foresee myself having the ability to brainstorm with a fetch. So I'm going to just bottom both. And maybe that's super greedy, but I just don't think those are the ways we're going to win this game. This is a nice fetch because it fetches both Island and Swamp through Archon. What does this mean? They have Swords to Plowshares? don't think I care very much. I don't want to fetch the basic swamp right now. I would rather just get the underground sea and play a bird. Okay, that's not a bad draw. Let's see what they do. They didn't have a source of plowshares. They have three in the main deck. And maybe they were holding open their one fluster storm or one daze, but they didn't play the daze. It's just going to be a Lavinia, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So. I can go for an ancestral. They have one negation, one misstep, one day. Eh, it's pretty bad still. I think what I want to do is play this, play a bird, and then wasteland their green source. Oh boy. Not good. If they gush, then so be it. So, we're still not really going to be able to play around days. But I think Demonic for Ancestral makes a lot of sense at the moment. This Negation and this Lotus are both turned off by Lavinia. Boy, not a huge care with our current bir bird. That's, that, this makes um, Snap, uh, this makes Demonic for Ancestral a lot better. A question will be, should we play around negation and uh, just negation? Because we can jam right now. Uh, we actually, I guess, negation and daze. And we've been playing like daze the whole time, but... We could also get a push and kill Lavinia. Which is kind of an interesting line. Actually, it might even be the best line. If they're to counter it, it's not the end of the world. And if they just let it resolve, I still have snaps and negations. I think that push might be better here. I don't like Ancestry on upkeep. It just opens you up to Flusterstorm for no reason.
I'm gonna get another non-basic because I already have the underground C. Now I can resolve. Now I have negation held up. I have snap. I could get my Luris at any point here. Really good. Uh, am I willing? Yeah, I'm willing to get one of these in there. I don't think I want to snap preordain or get Luris right now. That seems like a mistiming uh, in how to use my resources. They should have another Lavinia. That's why they did it. Fair. Okay. That certainly isn't great for me. All right, so I can do a whole lot of things, can't I? I can go snap, demonic. I can go snap, push. And I have protection with this fluster storm. Maybe the best choice is snap demonic and then get an ancestral that I can later protect. I really don't hate it now that I've drawn fluster storm. Also, pretty want to use my uh, black source while I still have it. If the problem with playing creature removal in vintage is a large section of the decks don't you care about removal. Bizarre doesn't care about removal. Um, Jeskai, like, even a lot of the blue decks don't care about removal. It's just a huge portion of, of decks that just don't care. Co every combo deck, half of the workshop decks. Maybe I'm not even going to be able to protect this Ancestral with Flusterstorm. Thing in the Ice. I'm like clocking my opponent here. So let's go in. I'm just going to play this thing in the ice. Ooh, that is the worst case scenario. Them drawing Ancestral there is actually so bad for me because if I have just held up my mana... I could respond with Ancestral and then Fluster Storm the stack. But. Hole Breacher is not a real magic card. Don't talk about Hole Breacher like it's something that you, people actually lose to. Oh, well, now I can't defend my Ancestral at all. Um. So, yeah, that's a, not a great draw. We no longer have good attacks. I'm going to hope they play a spell on their turn. That way I can Ancestral and have it resolve. This is obviously at least partially symmetrical. I don't think I've played this game particularly well. I would say that much. Sure. This is not my favorite style of deck and not the kind of deck that I'm very good at, so. It does help us learn, though, which is nice. This is looking a lot better. The problem is this Lavinia just shuts off every single card in my deck. Um... 
I can't beat Swords to Plowshares. Or it's going to be fairly hard for me to beat Swords to Plowshares. I need this ice, this thing in the ice to flip, but it just seems fairly impossible. Because if I Cabal Therapy here, they just can Swords in response. They didn't Swords? Hmm. Do, am I still supposed to name swords though? I could just name force of well. I see. Oko, Goif, Goif, Vigor, Archon. All right. Well, that is what happens when you resolve ancestral, but this could work. Uh, actually, I can't cast these. This is. <laughs> this is can't cast so i currently have one castable spell in my deck never mind this is just not gonna work <laughs> none of this is gonna work all right so if i draw an island then maybe it works no now this just gets thing in this is just so bro ah, i just can't play magic i guess i have to name oko there because the i can't beat it uh, I feel like I played miserably bad, but I also just... God, I hate this card. It's so lame. Uh, all right. Maybe I do need to keep therapy. Maybe I'm just supposed to get rid of one of these cards that dies to Lavinia. Doesn't feel right, though. I'm going to take out one of the baubles. That's a better way of doing it. This is round three of Archon, and each time it's gotten progressively more tilting. <laughs> ah, no land hand. Okay. P Hole Preacher is just not a good magic card, guys. You can keep telling me it is. It's just not. Uh... Alright, so can I get like an early Luris somehow? Yeah, your cycle is stupid, Slasher, because I didn't say that P.O. was bad to play this weekend. I said, I said my 75 of P.O., you shouldn't play this weekend because you should expect people to be copying P.O., and I took out all the Mirror Breakers. <laughs> I didn't play any Mirror Breakers in my P.O. deck because P.O. was dead. But, you know, you don't listen to that. You just do whatever you feel like, so... doesn't fit your narrative so you just ignore it sylvan library boy oh boy is this not i don't like how i played this already i do think i just want to take the sylvan library though disinformation campaign yeah whatever you want to say kind of old i'm kind of getting old of that one slasher oh we just got we just got our therapy force of will pitching time walk Interesting. Not ideal with the basic swamp that I fetched. Ah, they have turn one Lavinia. Oh no, they have turn one Archon. Oh, they have just, just library. All right. I guess that makes sense if their plan is to turn one library. They only have three mocks in their deck, so it's kind of unfortunate, but... All right, so ooh, they only have two cards in hand. <sighs> Demonic Tutor, you say? It's the best thing we can do here. Just Demonic for an Ancestral right now? Probably. I could get Feed the Swarm and kill this library. 
What do you guys think about that? <laughs> what if what if I tutor for feed the swarm? Jeez. I'll, I can just draw it off my ancestral, so. Damn, didn't draw it off the ancestral. I can draw it off the brainstorm, though. I don't know if that's actually too deep. Like, they're just going to draw a million cards to this library, right? I actually think it was probably better, but I let chat talk me out of it. <laughs> I kind of wish I had done it. Oh, well. Oh, they had force? That would have been sad. <laughs> I guess I'm not I guess I'm no longer glad I wish I not, I'm no longer wishing I had done it. I can therapy a force, but that's just no good. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Is chat still arguing if creatures are good in vintage or if creatures are on the upswing in vintage? Is that is that what chat is still arguing? <laughs> what is what is going on in chat? <laughs> I I haven't been super tuned in just cuz it looks like a dumb argument, but <laughs> Y'all going off, huh? All right. Hmm. Really not interested in these Magic the Gathering cards. Mm, that doesn't get Ancestral anymore, does it? Do they have something that stops me here? All basics all day. Just, yeah, a cla the, the classic, <laughs> I'm actually level one chat, Merchant Scroll for Balance line. Fantastic. No, they're making a joke. They're making a joke. It's an ongoing theme. I think Feed the Swarm is very interesting. It kills Leyline in the Void, and my deck is highly utilizing the graveyard. I don't know why you guys are hating on Feed the Swarm. Very good. Yo, Midway, appreciate that. Thanks for uh, the one month sub. Feed the Swarm does an extremely niche thing that only Feed the Swarm does. I think exactly only Feed the Swarm does that. Yeah, I don't care about a Tarmogoyf. I can tell you that much. That is not on my radar of things to care about here. I kind of need to get up to Luris mana, don't I? I can Merchant Scroll for a Gush. It's not really helping me get to Luris mana. I can Merchant Scroll for a Dig Through Time. But I would have to Therapy away their Force of Will first. <sighs> I'm not really sure the correct way to play this out is. I think I'm just supposed to be getting this Luris. And I have a ton of ways to utilize it, so... Uh, but I, I do think there's no reason not to preordain, then. Reanimate. And Force of Will. I kind of think those are both okay. Oh, I, I feel like we're going to beat this Sylvan library, but I'm not exactly 100% sure how we're doing that. I do think that I want to get their Force of Will out of their hand now. In case they deploy an Archon. I really don't want to lose to an Archon. They'll, I don't think they'll crack and do that. Maybe I'm supposed to wait still. 
All right, they have a swords to plowshares. Okay. Yeah, I should have attacked first. Whatever. It's fine. I should have attacked first. You're totally right. I need to play a lot faster. I'm eight minutes down on clock. <laughs> Oh, he took another four damage. It's crazy. Yeah, that, I guess that one damage was probably going to matter. So I definitely should have attacked first. They draw an ancestral or brainstorm, maybe. No, I know they have a swords and I'm using a mental misstep, but I think it's definitely worth it. Collector oof, I definitely do not want resolving. Oh, I know my top card isn't a blue card. I probably should have pitched a Force of Will then. So I have a Force for this Swords to Plowshares. I probably should have attacked with both birds last turn, actually. I think here what I'm going to do is attack them down to four... And then play a Lurus, get a Black Lotus, and reanimate another bird. Maybe that's like a not a great use of resources, but Maybe I should have just drawn a card. Thing is, I can return the bird next turn anyways via normal means. Yeah, I don't really like how we played this again. I find that very often when I try to play mat decks. It's just not something that my brain is wired to do. That one damage could definitely cost us as well. I used to be wired to play the, the control deck, but nowadays... Combo man... This game was entirely based around the fact that my Urza's Bobble on turn one saw saw Sylvan Library. That's a really good card to find off of your uh, off of your Sylvan Library. That is not good for me. We're gonna lose this game now, aren't we? Because I because I didn't attack with the bird that one turn. I didn't attack with the bird the one turn. Now we're going to lose the game. <laughs> um, yikes. This is why match decks are too hard. <laughs> I, I forgot one attack phase <laughs> with my 1-1 one, one flyer. And now I'm going to lose the game. Um, fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is why we play combo decks. I'm not good enough at magic. It's a five six. Yep, I'm dead because I missed one attack. If I had one more attack, they would be at two and I would be able to kill them. It's just like purposely. It, it's like purposely giving yourself more opportunities to fail. Why would you do that? I, 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 the more I play Magic, the, the less I, I vibe with the control player philosophy. It's not like you're gaining huge advantages by giving yourself more opportunities to fail. You're not.
We're just going to go straight up lose to this Oko. We just can't beat it. I, can't, I just can't beat this Oko. It's impossible. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, thought, I mean, like... It wasn't the deck's fault. Like it was very, very clearly my own fault. We lost this game, but I just don't understand why I need to be put in the situation where if I miss one attack, it's going to always cost me the game. <laughs> like make one small mistake, it's going to cost me the game. It's not about playing loose. It's about limiting your opportunities to lose due to small mistakes. A small mistake in PO doesn't typically have huge ramifications a lot of the time. And there's also less opportunities to make small mistakes. It's just like, as a, hu as a, I just pokes up my eye out. So I'm, I am a, it just doesn't make sense. Like, you know, like for the majority of people, 99% of people, you know you're not good enough magic player to never make a mistake, right? Or to make to make very limited mistakes. Like I'm going to make I'm going to make x mistakes over a tournament. That's just how every tournament works because I am only okay at magic. So why would I give myself the opportunity to lose because of those mistakes, right? I don't know, that's just the way I've been thinking about it recently. I don't know. Oh, I need, what do I need? A fatal push? I, I'm attacking this Oko because I can't let them exchange a Mox in for a Baleful Strix or I have nothing going for me. But I don't, I just like, it's Oko is obviously so well statted that that's not a winning line for me. <laughs> I'm just slowly losing the game. And eventually they're going to be able to draw more cards off of these food and all of that. So it's really quite bad. I really dislike the dead weight in the Lurus sideboard, Matt. I want it to always be a Myers Grasp for Archon. It's kind of a weird thing. It doesn't really matter this. I mean, I guess it kind of mattered this game because the opponent could have had a 2-3, uh, a but... Well, it's not an option to not attack it because my two power in the air can't race food. So I don't actually have choices. I have to just keep attacking it and eventually lose unless I top deck something very good. Right. But being put in the situation that I'm currently in, that is my only option. I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm dead. One thing that could very easily happen in this game is my opponent casts Swords to Plowshares and I misdirect it onto the Tarmogoyf. I guess that's not also good for me because they're going to gain a bunch of life, but... Not sure that we're dead, dead. We have top decks like Dig Through Time as well. What's up, Juju? I can't beat that one either, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like I said to get to get the to get ninety percent out of this deck, or sorry, to get like seventy five percent out of this deck, you need to put in a hundred percent. Where that just doesn't that just doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? <laughs> there is a Myers grasp. There's both negation and Lavinia. I I don't want to play anymore. I'm I'm just done. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the next round. <laughs> Plus 
playing against like oh man no like that wasn't playing against Arc. i mean i guess round one was playing game one was playing against archon but i mean people do like you you make a joke but it it, it is that is true like people do that No, what doesn't it, nothing matters karate because there's an Oko in play and the game is over. Because I fucked up earlier in the game when I just clicked through an attack. <laughs> you know? And then I just complained about playing a control deck for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, welcome everyone to the fourth and final round of this Mythic Society weekly event. We have queued into Super Cow, and Super Cow is on the Ryan deck, the, the horror one, the Basking Rootwalla, Squee control deck, four negation, four vigor, four will, two mind break trap, that kind of shenanigans. Let's see what we can do. Another seven card hand with no lands. This does continue to happen to me. I think I used all my luck on the weekend, which is acceptable. This hand does nothing. So what is our game plan versus this deck? As the controlling deck, we don't get more graveyard hate till what post board. We have a strip mine and a wasteland in game one, as well as a soul guide lantern. So we have some decent cards in the matchup. Can we bring back Gilded Goose? Those were the days when I was playing Okos and Gilded Goose and Talarian Academy. Brilliant decks. How many two petrified fields in the main, huh? Two petrified fields, two noxious revival. I'm gonna mulligan this hand, doesn't do anything in the matchup. That's why this is why Fatal Push is not great in the matchup. This hand also doesn't do anything, but at least it digs. So I'm gonna put back. Um what am I gonna put back? The bird is not bad against hollow one. Neither is the fluster, but lands are also important. I guess I could go preordain and just go fetch land lotus pass. These lands don't fetch basic island, basic swamp, so I would have to go double underground sea. The problem with not playing Preordain on turn one is it doesn't help us find the strip mine which we need to win this game. I'm like thinking about this Lotus because this Lotus allows me to get uh, early Lurus. Which seems important. But I don't know if we have the resources to do so. Maybe what we do is we just get rid of the Fluster Storm then and just go Basic Island Preordain. Not sure if that is the most sane play, but we have mulliganed quite a lot. I agree. Don't want a force of will. Don't really want a bobble either. They kept a seven card hand. Yo, what is up, Thraven? You welcome everyone. We're finishing up the last round of the weekly Mythic Society Vintage event. Fun F and M style uh, tournament every week held by uh, Mythic Society. Really cool tournament. Hope more people can join. Rent up a vintage deck. Play some F and M with me. It's a really good one. Hollow one, two recurring creatures. I basically have to find a way like two hollow one, two recurring creatures and a blood ghast. All right, maybe maybe we were not slated to be able to uh 
<laughs> to play too much magic tonight. Am I getting vigored on upkeep? Let's see. Did I gain anything by playing this? Or maybe it was just a strict misplay? It helps me play around Mind Break Trap. Yeah. Ooh, that is the best top deck in our entire deck. So maybe we'll run a little hot. And we have Noxious covered too. Well, as long as they don't have second Bazaar. All right, let's go to game two. All right, so I'm going to board in Needle, Lantern, Crypt, Tabernacle, Ravenous Trap, Jailer, Surgical Extraction. So seven pieces of Dredge Hate. And then we'll take out Negation, Misdirection, Gush, Push. I kind of like reanimate. Uh, misstep. Therapy. How good's therapy? Not sure how good therapy is. Maybe dig through time. One therapy. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so so we'll add our two we'll add seven more pieces of dredge hate to our three main deck dredge hate. Let's try it. I have a cap. Nice. Keep. <laughs> That's a good hand. <laughs> That's quite a good hand. They've already mulliganed to four as well. They've mulliganed to three. They've exiled a serum powder on three. I get this beautiful hand, and now I, I don't even get to play versus them because they, they just mulliganed zero. Uh. This is incorrectly using my luck. All right, so I'm not going to probe them because then if they have a mind break trap, I can't. Uh, if they have force plus mind break trap, I guess. Uh, maybe I can probe them then. If they only, if they only have three cards, we get, we're allowed to probe them. If they had more than three, I don't think I would probe them. That way, if they had force back up for my... If they had a counter spell for my needle. Oh, they have a bazaar, all right. Well, they can't use it. Incorrectly using my luck for tonight. I, I correctly used my luck for last, for yes, for Sunday. All right, no reason to get my Ancestral negated for uh, if they drew a blue card. So I will just Ancestral myself on their turn. They drew a Force of Will. Okay. Uh, I'm going to force it just because these cards... It means they're like so far away from a, a Vigor. Yeah, okay, sure. All right, let's go to game three. Bo oh, man, both teams fought hard in these ones. These cards are not that good, but three color Archon beat four color Archon. Very interesting. I'm just going to resubmit. All right. I have a cat. What do we got? Hmm. I think that you're supposed to keep these hands just because of the Wasteland. I think Wasteland is the single most important card in the matchup. All right, 
opponent kept a seven card hand again. So we'll see. See what we can do. I won't be forcing a hollow one. As I need <laughs> another bizarre double squee hand. Hey, it's a good one. We're playing Cabal Therapies in our deck, so Urza's Bobble is better than Mishra's Bobble. Alright, I have the Wasteland, so... Opponent has three Bazaars, two Noxious Revivals, and... two Petrified Fields. Yeah, this deck doesn't really have win conditions in it. Matt doesn't believe in those. The thing in the ice kind of is. All right, they didn't have a second bazaar this time. Woohoo! This is what I'm saying, though. This is why Wasteland is your most important tool versus the Squee deck. Spirits fly away. Thing in the ice. I think I'm going to just lead on... Baleful Strix... I don't see myself flipping this thing in the ice. Well, maybe we can just leave thing in the ice. Hmm, kind of interesting. I don't know. I think Baleful Strix makes more sense, but it makes the Force of Vigor that's in their hand really good. So I actually think that Baleful Strix maybe is not the play just because of how badly it lines up against Force of Vigor. So yeah, I'm going to go Thing in the Ice, and I'm, I guess I'll bobble them as well. I don't think there's any reason to hold bobble. I guess it does get trapped, but that would be fine. I don't know what happened to Super. Why didn't I bobble on turn one? I was just too excited to wasteland them. <laughs> no, no one said I played tonight clean. Okay, it's been uh, it's been uh, uh, an experimental experimental night in terms of both play and deck building. Oh, wait, did I do... I, I'm not actually 2-1, right? We've just been manhandled by Archon decks in both rounds. Sorry. We're 1-2. Last game, yeah. Yeah, we played last game well. Yeah. It's been a rough night. I don't do super well in these um, Mythic Society things. Most of the time, it's because I sleeve up, sleeve up some kind of cool combo deck and then play against three Archon decks. Tonight, I was super happy because I was like, ah, oh, we'll play the, play the four Baleful Strix deck. We'll really get those Archon players. Then I just got ran over anyways. Due to a mixture of uh, bad play and mulligans. Yeah, we knew they had a horror. That doesn't really help me. Fly all over his feet. Prisoner Doom. Two squeeze. <laughs> Love it. I could get back a, a Luris here. I think preordaining is slightly better. Ooh. Yeah, I like this. It's going to help us just get to our thing in the ice. I won't play the Soul Guide Lantern, though, because there's no reason to run into Mind Break Trap. Nope. Archon of Emeria is the best hate bear in vintage. By a l pretty large amount, I would say. Archon of Emeria is very, very good. I mean, Ryan is very, very competent at the deck. So that's probably part of the reason. Yeah, Archon of Emeria just 
even decks that you think shouldn't care about it, they still get hosed by it. Because everybody's just casting spells. Well, we actually played against three different Archon decks tonight. We played against uh, Black White Archon. We played against Bant Archon. And we played against Four Color Archon. So... <laughs> it's all good i didn't play super well so i i can't be uh too mad i also think that this deck is a little outside of my range so doesn't help archon just murders every anything i want to do in magic the gathering so that's just how it will be keep getting the keep farming the wind shermanator <laughs> archon is yeah that's that's all we can say right it's just i it, this deck even had some I guess it doesn't have very much permission in the or very much removal in the main deck and it doesn't get that much better post board well, i am bringing in one like four or five cards i do think i would probably take the dead weight out for another myers grasp i wish super would just come play my match and we could get this over with <laughs> I just want to flip this Kraken Horror. Kraken Horror? I never knew... I don't know what the correct way to say that is. We looked this up. We, we definitely did this on stream at one point. I, I remember this conversation on stream. I guess we've been streaming for a couple of years now, right? So that is kind of how it goes. Are we, we're, we're basically at over two years seeing as some of these sub counts are 25 months that's kind of crazy too oh is it waiting on me was it waiting on me the whole time no one minute they top deck a second bazaar I just why? <laughs> why? Well, not super interesting because I do think that we I mean we kept a soul guide lantern that we can protect on top, but oh man. it's brutal i just it's not my night it's not my night all right so let's think about this let's not think about this let's just cast this okay So the problem here becomes if they force again. I don't think we're allowed to play Strix because we need it for force. Like I pretty sure I'm supposed to crack this lantern so that they don't have to squeeze. Another bad part about this whole sequencing is I can't afford to put Luris into my hand this turn. If I could play Luris next turn and rebuy Lantern, I'd be in much better shape. Was there a turn that we could have played Sanctuary? I don't think so. Because we played Double Preordain last turn. Yeah, being able, if this was a, a basic or a fetch land that we could get a Luris, that would be ideal. Yeah, I still think that might have been right, but I also didn't expect them to top deck a Bazaar and we would need to get a Luris right away. So I, I think exiling two squeeze is worth it. So I'm going to just crack this lantern now.
And if my opponent plays any spell, I can force it and flip this this thing. I do like that I can say this thing, and it's actually just grammatically correct. So it is the name. <laughs> what spell doesn't really matter right just forcing a thing turns our 04 into a 7 8 don't believe it matters too much what we force kind of just want to force something right they had another squee and a wasteland all right well i can't play i can't play this lurus anymore anyways they have petrified field and a squee. All right, so they still have a faithful looting every turn. If I can draw another preordain, that would be ideal. They are going to cast Force of Vigor on my black source. Cool. I'm going to make a 7-8. It was a bold play. That's still fine, sure. That seems very good for us. I wasn't, I actually didn't think we were going to beat the uh, second bazaar, but a 7 8 for two mana is not bad. I'm not really sure what they can do about this. They can go double hollow one. I guess a Hogak is bigger than this. But it takes a little while to get a Hogak, and this takes two hits to kill them. Two more hits to kill them. Looks pretty good, actually. Legank attack. Yo guesser? No, we watched we watch other people play their rounds in between rounds on Wednesdays typically. That's such a good draw. <laughs> I mean that was the that was the best top deck in the entire deck, so this game is locked. We winning! Yay! All right. GGs. All right, not bad, not bad. We we got we got trounced by Bant and Four Color Archon, but we were able to do some cool things versus uh, Horror One, and we were able to. We really did wallop slasher uh, not slasher um slater in in round one the baleful strixes and the thing in the ice the thing in the ice has looked fantastic though we haven't played against any decks that didn't play creatures so that probably has something to do with it the thing in the ices were uh, i guess there's only one thing the one thing that was in the ice um quite good quite good i didn't know how in, how how impressive this card was going to be but I like it. I guess we also didn't play against any Pyroblast decks. That does help as well. But overall, this deck, you know, it seems like it functions pretty well. Um, it's a little bit too many choices for me to make, and I definitely made a bunch of wrong choices along the way, which is what led us to a 2-2 finish tonight. So, yeah, I like Matt's deck. It's cool. It's not something that I think I'm going to play again, but if if people are interested in trying to play a a controlling lure space shell. This is definitely a, a cool way to do it. So definitely check this out. Uh, that's going to be it for me tonight.